Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 71 of this Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. This is, of course, the March of the Vikings, and we are now the Empire of Scandinavia, with the glorious kings of Denmark, Norway, Suomi, and myself, the King of Sweden. Huzzah! We could also get the King of Lapland, but right now, we're in jail. Jailed by my bastard of a son who's in hiding, which means I can't retaliate against him, otherwise I would totally have this twit assassinated. So what I've done is I have granted Homeguard independence. I'm going to wait until the truce against them runs out. I'm going to invade and I'm going to beat the living snot out of him. In the meantime, I am just going to try and ransom myself. Except I just realised I'm in fact 59. Can I disinherit him? Is that a thing? Oh, and I'm looting York for the funds to do this. If anything bad happens, then York is the one that needs to pay. <laughs> Regardless of whether it's their fault or not, because clearly it is their fault. Alright, so how much money do we have? 181. Let's head over to uh, Durham. Make sure that we loot that as well. Get the money from Durham. Because I'm currently in the Oubliette, which means I'm getting significant health problems and I would really rather not have health problems how are we doing just generally looting the province still now we're sieging okay cool and how much do I need to ransom myself like 300 yeah 385 Not quite there yet. Probably once Durham Castle is gone. I think we will be. Yeah, definitely. Education focus. Klaus, my younger son, who is way better already than my idiot son. Uh, you are haughty, idolizer, playful. Idolizer, so you'd be good at learning. I think we'll make you a learning ruler. I don't think I've had one of those before. It means the uh, spread of technology is quicker. Okay. Durham Castle has fallen, which means I should have sufficient cash now. I'll go and cash this in. Come on, show me. Thank you. So we'll go and cash this in here. Actually, no, we'll do it here. It's just... Here, it's just quicker. We should be back by the time they finish looting that. There we go, we have the money. Let's ransom ourselves. Thanks, son. See, he actually really likes me. Oh, right, because I granted him independence. I wonder if that means that he's going to stop trying to assassinate me. That would be nice. But all the same, as soon as that truce is over, GG. Six years. Can I live until I am... 66? How old am I? Yeah, Regency ended. Yeah, I should be able to. Okay, so who is currently my regent? That is a good question, in case he keeps on coming after me. Uh... Council... Mine is five, okay. Regent. Actually, the King of Denmark could be a very good regent. The King of Norway is not too bad either. Denmark has a better diplomacy though, and he's a freaking genius. We're putting a lot of trust into the King of Denmark there. Okay, so we are still raiding stuff, but I could in fact start fighting wars now. Ah, you've taken Westerg Outland. Okay, I think that's fine. Um, I don't think I particularly want to pick another fight with Burgundy just yet, because that brought in a lot of enemies against us. How much money did we need for the Kingdom of Suomi? Sorry, Kingdom of Latin Land. 200. I think we'll just continue raiding until we have sufficient cash for this and mercenaries. In case I do mysteriously drop dead, Mordred. You wish to marry... Yeah. They're not my family. Go for it! 
So how's the uh, looting of Durham going? It is going well. Y'all of Inlock. I can just strip you of your territory for that. Thanks for the reason. Oh, no I can't. Oh right, I can imprison him instead. Meh. I don't think he's actually in a faction. It's not very nice that he just laughs in my face though. I mean, that will need to be remembered. For sure. Ruler stewardship bonus plus two, so I might be on nine. If idiot Mordred takes over. Rebels investigate Outland. How long until we finish this? We just need to take the city, and then we'll sail over and deal with them. It's fine. This siege will be over much quicker. Ooh! Few alive have a more fearsome reputation than you. Where many Vikings mainly raid, you destroy your entire towns and castles, leaving none alive besides the one to tell the tale of Mordred the Ravager. I'm now a Ravager. Who's like a Viking plus one. I don't think I'm quite Val... Oh wait, yeah, this guy is Valhalla bound, isn't he? Valhalla bound Ravager. He's, also... He's a warrior poet! Fantastic! This guy is a proper Viking, I love it. Alright, let's get back on the ships. Oh, the vassal's doing a bit for me. Well, in that case, let's just continue raiding, say... Okay. Oh man, Diffat is worth so much money. 99! Go raid that! me some more money. Yay, I win. Go and loot that. Betrothed can marry. Again, I don't know why I care. Go for it, it's fine. Enjoy. Is this the King of Norway? Please be the King of Norway. Yeah, it is. So you're going for Westfold, which is great. This is precisely what I wanted my Dijor guys to be doing. Really? Down there? Peasants? Ah. Okay, we'll go and deal with them in a minute. We'll finish... We'll finish raiding and just get back on the boats. We'll head to... Chest. To get the money away, and then we'll head over here and kill him. And that'll be just fine! Money. Kill these idiots. Even on half morale I still obliterate you, that's mostly my hostile retinue I would think. You're in jail. You suck. Huzzah. Right, let's put you guys back on the boats. So back over there and continue our raiding. Because I'm not done yet. Loads more money where this came from. We'll just continue in defed. So we didn't finish raiding it before. Like that. 1078. I'm coming for you, Home Guard. I'm coming for you. See, now it's showing truces. I don't know why it didn't before. Uh, the other thing is, can I change my laws yet? Yeah. Oh, I can. I do wish it would tell you when you can change your laws. Um, we could get a larger levy, or we could charge more cash. Cash hasn't really been a problem, so I think we're going to increase the noble levy. This will reduce the amount of money they pay. Yeah, by 5%, but increase the levy by 10. Do it. Do it now. That has increased my levy to 7.5 thousand. I can raise an army of almost 20,000 men now. Which is a bit scary, but also totally awesome. So lots of internal struggles going on right now, but I am not too surprised by that. Right, yes, you are raising relations. Are there any vassals who don't particularly like? No. <laughs> Basically my entire kingdom is Perma 100. Uh, the other thing I can be doing is fabricating claims. I 
really want to take over Rus and incorporate you as a kingdom. I think it would be good for both of us if that were to happen. Um, what do I want to fabricate on? I'd really like to take Stettin. I'd also really like to take the Netherlands so we can get the holy site down there. I could strive to become better, or I can be satisfied with who I am and what I have. 70% chance of being ambitious. Don't think I got it. Hold a great plot. Yeah, why not? Give me a chance to murderize some people in the prison. Unless there's anyone here I want to ransom. Nope. How are we doing on conversion? It's happening so surely. Most of the Ross territories have been converted. Good times, good times. Didn't take much loot this time, but I think that's because we'd already kind of ravaged the countryside. Uh, don't really want more airs and things. I guess I could do with another air. In case Mordred decides to murderize this guy. Oh, your marshal's gone down. That's not good. As he's growing older, I can see that Klaus could use some guidance in my more experienced areas. It will require hard work and may not always be appreciated, but this is the chance to make self-sacrifice for the sake of Klaus. We become bitter rivals, but he does become ambitious, or I become stressed and he becomes diligent. Diligent is a really nice trait to have, but stressed is bad because it reduces health. Ambitious is nice too. We'll become bitter rivals. As long as you don't try and murder me. No! Son of a... Who killed me? Or what killed me? Natural death. 63. Emperor Mordred I feasted in Valhalla at the age of 63. He died a natural death. Although not especially blessed, we find Mordred will be... F he was amazingly blessed. Come on. Emperor Mordred II, a crafty and perceptive man, will have no problem gaining leverage where needed. Long live Mordred II. Hmm. 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 That does automatically give me home guard again. We're going to have some serious... Oh, apparently we're not. Why do the vassals like me so much? I have zero diplomacy. Yeah, first things first, we're coming out of hiding. How do I do that? Come out of hiding. Okay, I'm going to get some diplomacy skill. Enough intriguing. Carousing or family? No, definitely carousing. I do have one child, Barrowed Mordredson. Barried Mordredson, rather. He's already betrothed. Uh, yeah, actually, right, not bad. Alright, um, I think we just continue raiding, essentially. And wait for... bad things to start happening, because it's kind of inevitable. We do need council positions. We need to send the vassals out to the kings, that's the other thing. Uh, the diplomat. So, spy master, we need someone who is super, super loyal. Vasili. You're not quite as good as Girid, but you are more loyal. Girid is actually a genius. And the seer. Choice. 
Okay, so, vassals. The most powerful of my vassals right now is... Ooh. King of Denmark is already at 100. Ah, opinion of predecessor. Lasts for a year. Really? So that's why everyone loves me. Yep, pretty much. Okay, so as soon as that opinion of prede predecessor is gone, then we're in trouble. So, King of Denmark... I don't think you're actually the most powerful, are you? 3,000 man army. 3.9 thousand man army. I think it's going to be the King of Norway who's the... The one I need to worry about. He's currently in Gotland, so we're going to have you proving relations with everyone in Gotland. Um, I'm going to make the King of Denmark my steward. I'm going to have you in Gotland as well. So I can hit both kings at the same time. And they're also on the council, so they should both be happy with that fact. I'm going to take you out of the army and we are going to plot discovery here, in case anyone tries to do anything against us. It's unlikely, considering our own intrigue ability, but you never know. And the other thing is, we need to start converting stuff. Or we'll continue converting. So, how about that? We still need to create the Kingdom of Lapland. I do have the money for it now. This will make someone super, super happy with us. Okay, so, you don't particularly like me and not particularly good. You don't particularly like me and you're not particularly good. Who else is in the du jour kingdom of Nordriki? Oh, it's only Finnmark and Kola. That's unfortunate. Don't exactly have the broadest choices. You do have 25 diplomacy, which would be quite useful. Oh, and you are a Viking. It'd be quite nice if I could get the Viking trait. The shadow of Kola. You are an intrigue person. I think I'm going to give it to you. Grand landed title, Nordariki, include lower titles. You now deal with your lower vassal guy, and you should really like me, because I just gave you a freaking kingdom. And you are a powerful vassal. So three kings on the, the uh, council. And this is the way to keep them happy. Yay. Right. Um, that's everything. Thing I want to do is grant. Do, 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 do. You already have an honorary title, that's unfortunate. You can be the Drosetti. You can be Herdman. Herdman. And. Position held. Nice Furka. Same guy. 27 learning. It's mental. Okay. That'll do. What a threat. Oh, because I just took Home Guard. Right. So, Home Guard. I need to give some territory away. These two. I'm going to give Ladoga away. I'm going to keep Home Guard for myself. And that I will give to my son. Ladoga. Enjoy! Oh. That's alright. Um, you're still really not very loyal. Point your counselor will increase your loyalty, but I also want to give you an honorary title of law speaker, and I'll bribe you. And I want you to be finding stuff that bad people are doing against me. Cool! That's that done. Can I do any laws? I can. I want more levy troops. Beautiful! Okay, cool. What's that one saying? My domain is too big. Yeah. Do I really want to give both of these territories to the sun? Yes. Isn't 
very yelled of Home Guard. Right. right, crown focus. I kind of want upland. Do I want upland to have the focus? I kind of do. And I need to start actually building up some of these areas. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do under Mordred. The second actually is just consolidate. So for example, we need to get some more holdings, which will cost money. So Mordred, you're going to be raiding stuff to bring home the cash and using said appropriated funds from the Bank of England. Oh, you are still sieging. Why wasn't that showing? You're not counted as raiding. There you are. Don't know what the problem was. Oh, still writing. Jihad for Africa. The great Sunni Caliph Meta decided to call a jihad against the Kafirs of the Kingdom of Africa. That's Lombardy, I think. He urges all righteous Sunni Muslims to take up arms against the depraved King Radwald II of Lombardy for the glory of Islam. Allah is merciful. This might be an opportunity to go after Lombardy. He's still the leader of the Smaland of Revolt. No, he didn't actually let me. Oh, he did. Stop fighting that. Stop making my kings happy, the ones that you're probably revolting against right now. Oh, that was one of the kings. That was the king of... somewhere. Finland. Bigger the garrisons, not very. Split you in half, send half of you over here. All right. Might as well grab double the cash. Oh, you lost your war. <laughs> Stop stealing my councillors. Yeah, of Smolland, you are a powerful vassal, which will make you happy. I'd also like to get the king of Finland happy. I could make you the chancellor. In fact, I'm going to do that. I'm going to say... No, I know it's an option. Change council position. I want you to be my chancellor. Then I want my marshal to be Rodolfo. Right. Where's Rodolfo gone? Uh, yeah, why? Oh, for Pete's sake. No, I want. happening here. Rodolfo, you're supposed to be my marshal. You. Change council position, do it. You're the marshal. 27 combat skill. Yes, exactly. And then it was the other king of Norway who is now apparently no longer available. Why not? Yeah, want a seat on the council. I want to give you a seat on the council. It's not an honorary title. I would love to put you on the seat on the council. Okay, the defensive pact against me is growing. Lovely jubbly. Alright, 
Well, it has to be Torfin for the short term. You. Improving relations here. You. Researching military tech here. Okay. Now this is going to be the other king, isn't it? Yeah. Damn it! See, t I did not fire you from the council, I just did the wrong thing. And bribe you. Bribe you as well. And I'm going to ask you to not be in that faction. Cost 400 for me to get him to do that. <coughs> Crusade? Oh crap. His Holiness, Pope Celestius III, is worried about the state of the souls in the Kingdom of Svitiot. The heathens under Falke Morja II have no hope for salvation or suffer the eternal fires unless they can be brought to Christ in this life. Any Christian willing is offered complete absolution of sins in the armed mission against the Germanic barbarians. Um, well, Lombardy at least is going to be busy with the uh, jihad against them. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, I can't. Oh, damn it! Russia, stop sucking! So who's joining? <coughs> oh, my wife just died. This is a sad day. 13 year old genius. Sure. You actually sound like a pretty good option. Arrange betrothal to me. Cool. More excellence. Now I need to bring some money home so I can actually fight against anyone that the Pope manages to bring in the war against me. Which currently includes Nice Hospitaller, Venice, Brefni, wherever that is, Poland, and Devon. Child lacks childhood focus, Sterler. You definitely look to me like a faith person. So I think that's just going to be humility. Still doing stuff there. Oh crap, do we have camp fever? Lots of people seem to be dying of it, so I am going to assume that we do. I'll check in a minute. As soon as I'm done clicking through all of these. Click, 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 click. Right. Uh, no, we don't. Oh, hi. Um. Whoa, my domain army is tiny. I think it's time to raise an army. more of this do we need to loot? Quite a lot. Thankfully we have some big walls over there. Right, your job's done. Now it's just yours and you're almost done. And then I'll have lots of money. Ah, right, here comes a big army. Who's this? The Knigget Templar. Ah, offer to join war from Russia. Yes, please. But please, 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 let me... Yes. Let me have them. So I would very much like to catch the Knigget's Templar out of place. Say, here. You will take a little while to arrive, but then so we will, will we. <laughs> oh! I didn't think you were arriving just yet. Crap. Um, we 
might lose that army. Move back to here, stay here. All of you lot, come here. I think we are gonna have to send you guys home. <sighs> you are out hunting one afternoon and a bearded elder approaches, donning a simple traveller's cloak and a wiped brimmed hat that conceals his other eye. He greets you with courtesy, requests a horn of mead, and then informs you that just yonder a well lies forgotten, filled with gold. He wanders off chuckling as he goes, leaving you struck with the familiarity of his presence. That was Odin! Send these guys home. We have a boat full of cash already. How much are we carrying? 500. I think we'll land up here. Send you there. Group you. You're still the best commander you are. I'll try and maneuver out of the way. We have a lot of reinforcements coming in though. Yeah, we're low on morale. Um, we could, however. We outnumber them massively. Yes, we're winning. Fantastic, we beat them. Huzzah! Enforcements have arrived. Kill them, kill them. Yes. Stay here. That is a lot of men. That is an awful lot of men. Ah! We're low on morale. Um, find out next time how this goes. Yes, cliffhangers. Thank you very much for watching. If you are enjoying this series, then please do hit that like button if you haven't done so already. Please do consider subscribing as well. It really does tremendously help out. If you have any tips or advice for me, do let me know in the comments. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.